Well, let the bracket building begin. The world's largest March Madness bracket will be filled in later today. We wanted to show you a live look at it, but it's just too foggy outside. It's on the JW Marriott, and we know that work is expected to start on this beginning at 7 and 8 this morning. They're hoping to have this wrapped up by noon. The teams are going to be updated as the tournament progresses. It's a live bracket. Megan, we know already the tournament teams have arrived here in Indy to start that quarantine process, so we welcome them. Mm -hmm. And there are extensive protocols in place to help prevent a COVID outbreak during the tournament. Our Kelsey Anderson joins us live this morning with more on the safety measures NCAA officials say the teams have to follow during the big dance. Good morning, Kelsey. Hey, good morning, Megan. So we learned late last night that six referees were sent home after one of them tested positive for COVID-19 and the other five were contact traced close to that one referee who did test positive. And so we also learned more about what they're using to do that contact tracing. And it's actually pretty interesting. Take a look at this. This um, is called a safe tag, and this is what teams will be using. Um, and every single player will have one. The safe tag is about the size of a domino and it's lightweight and it's a wearable device that will be able to detect the distance between the users. The device, which can be sewn into a pocket on uniforms, will help with contact tracing should it be needed. Anytime that there is a positive case, what the safe tag does is it logs that information into a very secure software system that then allows medical officials, uh, local health departments, designated team officials to go back into that system and see who's been in contact with who and for how long. So the team's operation managers, they will collect the devices each night charge them and sync them so that the data can be accessed by the Marion County Health Department should contact tracing be necessary. Now, we also learned that IU Health, they are doing that testing and they tell us that they have done over 2,100 tests. And as of yesterday afternoon, they said no positive cases have been found. But now we do know that one of those referees did test positive. Again, that was last night. Reporting live, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.